Uh, like as a mountain biker, I started out when I was about 13 years old. I lived out in the countryside out in New Zealand. So mountain biking was really the only cycling I could compete in. Uh, road, I started when I was about 20, 21. And yeah, just like when I went through uni and started working for the first time, racing became, it kind of took a back foot and, and training did too. And so my performances followed likewise. And cycling crewing was just a way of uh, getting a bit of fitness. I only did it for a year. Getting a bit of fitness ahead of my first adventure over to Europe to, to try and race amateur in Belgium. Um, that was back in 2009 and following that I did two years in, in the UK riding for a team called Enduro. And last year I started out with Garmin and here I am today. Uh, yeah, I guess I came to it. I came to it really late. Like I got my first contract in 2010 and just at a continental level and my first pro contract in 2012. Uh, so I guess you could say I'm fairly green to it. <laughs> quick, sh quick shot for Mavic there. The new uh, Aerodynamic C60 for Mavic. Uh, I guess I do, I do have a different outlook based on coming to the sport so late. Coming from uh, like rural New Zealand, road cycling is not a, a popular sport, you know. Rugby is, and the two are worlds apart. Uh, I'm enjoying it, you know, cycling is a... I always hoped that one day it could be a, a job for me and a, a career and I could make some money from it. And I'm just thankful that I can at the moment. I'll try and get a few years out of it. For the rest of this season, purely focusing on the tour at the moment. Possibly the, the TGT World Championship in Italy later on. But aside from that, nothing else.